Hey guys, welcome back to this Face Collide booster box opening. Today, the fourth and final part of this booster box. Now, most of you know the deal by now. Leave a comment with your favorite pool from this video to get one of the goat cards, and that applies for all four videos. And considering we, we haven't had as many replies as I was expecting, chances are you can win four codes. Anyway, before we dig into these last packs, a little count of where we are at right now. Last video, we got one reverse holo rare. Which isn't too bad if you consider that all nine reverse hollows were reverse hollows I didn't have yet in the last. And that puts us up to a total of six reverse hollow rares from this box. We had two Tyranitar hollows, which is especially funny if you consider that the video before that we got two Delphox hollows, putting our hollow count up to five. And then we got this nice Glacier on the X, putting our EX card. At a total of four, which I think means we should get at least one more EX card from these packs and more if we're lucky. And I'm kind of hoping it's a full art or something because, well, we didn't have a single full art yet, which I think would kind of make for a disappointing box if you don't pull a single full art. Not that I can complain because I got the card that I wanted the Lugia Break. Yes, the card I've been wanting for so long. I have it. And along with Carbank, that puts our break cards at a total of two. Which may very well mean that there are no more break cards left. But if we're lucky, we might get an extra one. So let's grab these packs and see what we get. So we have one Delphox left. And the rest are all Lugia breaks. Which of course I saved for last to keep up the tension of getting a Lugia break. But now it's pointless because I already got one. But maybe it'll give us something else cool. So here we go, the last nine packs. Starting off with the remaining Del, uh, Del Fox. And we have an old Ember Aerodactyl. Ultra Ball. Servine, so no bent spoon in this one either. Fennekin. Gatheta, Spoink, another Solosis, so many of these, Binacle, Reverse Hollow Marowak, which is a rare, and the last card, a Carving, and the second pack, yeah, we still need that Bent Spoon, as the only uncommon that I still need, and I only need two more hollows. I'm still missing Aerodactyl Hollow and the Steel Type Lucario Hollow. If I can get those two, then I will have all the hollows from this set. So we have Dugong, another N, Helix Fossil Ammonite, Carving, Deerling, Bronzor, Riolu. Jigglypuff, Reverse Hollow Riolu, and another Mandibus. Third pack. Starting with Alakazam Spirit Link, Wormadon, Devolution Spray, Snubble, Seal, Bronzor, Cottony, Burmy, Reverse Hollow Kabuto, and a Moltres. Pack number four. Nothing too fancy yet. Then again, if we just get one more EX card, we got pretty much all the stuff that is promised with one of those boxes. Although we could get more. So here we have Whimsicott, Duosion, Devolution Spray, Jigglypuff, Gothita, Meowth, Snivy, another Solosis, Verse Hollow Wismer, and Mega Alteria EX Full Art. So I got my wish, at least one full art from this box. So let's get you in a sleeve. Right away, there we go, my second full art from Fates Collide, along with the Team Rocket in the background. Pack number five, 
So we've hit the the bare minimums, uh, at least that I found from people talking on the internet, which I know isn't the most reliable source. So anything else just is a bonus right now. And there we go. That is a bent spoon. So that was the last uncommon that I needed. Now I have all the commons, all the uncommons from this set. And then we're moving on to the rares. And like I said, just two hollows. And then I'll have those completed as well. So we have Dugong. Energy Pouch. Spoink. Another Diglett. Larvitar. Carbink. Jigglypuff. Reverse Hollow Jigglypuff. And a Mr. Mime. Tag number six. We have an Old Amber Aerodactyl, Ultra Ball, Servine, Volaby, Larvitar, Cottony, Coughing, Spoink, Reverse Hollow Bronzor, and a Mew. Kind of a poorly cut Mew, considering this side is much bigger than the right side. I already had a Mew, but it's still a very nice card to have. A very good card for competitive play, because it works in pretty much any deck. And then we get to the final three. I'm just gonna hope for that Lucario Hollow, because why not? That isn't too unrealistic. <laughs> and of course we get another Ben Spoon. <laughs> it was surprising us at the end, but I'm sorry, someone else beat you to it, buddy. Another Dugong, Energy Pouch, Mincino, Wismer, Fennekin, Vullaby, Larvitar, Reverse Hollow Diglett, and a Zygarde. Of course, Diglett also had to make another appearance today. So back number eight. We are starting off with another Pupitar. Another Dugong, Loudred, Coughing, Spoink, another Diglett, Larvitar, Carbink, Reverse Hollow Carbink, and a Mothim. And the final pack from this booster box. Will we get one more big pool? Pull us to push us over the bare minimum, really, or is it all we got? We're about to find out. Starting with a double colorless energy, always nice to get. Dome fossil Kabuto, Shuckle, another Solosis, of course, <laughs> at the end. Katheta, now we just need another Diglett, Mincino, Wismer, Fennekin, a Verse Hollow Spoink, so no last Diglett. And a barbacle. So that was the Fates Collides booster box. I don't think it was too spectacular of a box. If you only look at the ultra rares that I got. Basically five EXs and two break cards. Should be kind of a bare minimum for a Fates Collides booster box. But if I look at it in terms of my collection. I think I did pretty well. First off I got this entire stack of commons, uncommons and the regular rares. That I have to count and sort through. Because for my collection I now have all the commons, uncommons and regular rares from this set. So I'm just missing hollows and up. But if you look at for example the reverse hollows. Then mostly these are these five on the left here are duplicate reverse hollows. And all of these other reverse hollows that I got. All cards I didn't have yet. Then we also have the reverse hollow rares. Which I only got three duplicates of. And five new ones. So eight reverse hollow rares in total at the end. As for hollows, we didn't do too well. We got six in total, but only two of them were new. 
especially considering two, two of them were duplicates in this box. And so I'm still missing two uh, of the hollows. And again, uh, again, the Aerodactyl and the Steel-type Lucario. So that could have gone a little better. But then we have the EX cards. Now I only got five, which again is sort of minimum for a box like this. But only one of them was a duplicate, so that's still four new EX cards, one of them a full art even. So considering only one of the five was a duplicate, I still did pretty well there. And of course then there's the two break cards, now Carbink I already had, but Lugia, Lugia was the one I wanted. This definitely was the card I was looking for. So in that sense, yes, this box was pretty lucky, at least, at least if I look at what cards I got that I still needed. So I'm going to spend my weekend sorting through this stuff, which shouldn't be too difficult considering half the stack should be Diglett and Solosis. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, especially you guys who stuck with me from part 1 to part 4. Your support is awesome, thank you very much. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment with your favorite pool from this video for an entry to get some codes. I think I'll just leave it open for this weekend and then when Monday starts, then I'll start sending out the codes and closing the entry basically. So, I really had fun opening this thing and I hope you guys had fun watching as well. I'm now gonna sort through all of this crap and I hope to see you guys back next week when we'll open up some new stuff.